In today's video, we are going to experience one of the most breathtaking mountain hikes ever. Also, we're going to drive one of the scariest roads we've ever been on. Stay tuned to discover this amazing place. Good morning. Today is the second to last day of our trip because tomorrow we have to drive back to Abilene so that we can pick up our car and go to the airport. Today we're going to be driving to Colorado Springs to meet a friend for dinner. A friend that um, Gabby hasn't seen in what, five years? Yeah. So that's going to be a really nice way to end our trip. And on the way we're going to drive through the mountains, take a scenic drive, and try to find some alpine lakes. Twelve seconds later. For our stay in Frisco, we stayed in Frisco Lodge and we really liked it because we really felt very safe. The employees were always wearing masks and um, even gloves and there was a really nice little breakfast included that was homemade and unique. And they even had a little happy hour that we actually didn't realize was included so we didn't take advantage of it but um, they had like a happy hour with a guy playing guitar and singing so really really nice. After saying goodbye to this adorable town, we are heading to White River National Forest in Colorado. It is named after the White River that passes through its northern section. It's one of the most visited national forests in the United States, primarily from users of the 12 ski areas within its boundaries. We're in the White River National Forest at the Spruce Creek Trailhead. And we found it just by putting it in Google Maps. We had to park a little bit down the road from the trailhead because it's, it's obviously very popular with locals. And I'm already winded because I'm really out of shape. So this is going to be interesting. And we're going to embarrass, oh, well, I'm going to embarrass myself in front of the locals hardcore. But there's All supposed right. to be some ponds and stuff. So let's go get those ponds. All right, let's go. <laughs> Are you tired now? No. No? It's <laughs> This trail offers a variety of scenery as it climbs through lodgepole, spruce, and fir forests, and eventually to Lower Mohawk Lake, which is nestled against the mountain walls. This trail is primarily used for hiking and is best used from April until October. This hike is a little challenging, but the mountain, ponds, and lakes are straight out of a fairy tale. This was a really good, challenging uphill climb for us with lots of mosquitoes. But this lake with the reflections makes it all worth it. To me, this is the perfect trail because it has a beautiful pine forest and at the end there's a lake. And, as you'll see, it's perfect for social distancing because if somebody comes on the path, you can just walk off onto one of these little deer paths. Right. to Colorado Springs and we are taking the very scenic route. Boreas Pass is a 22 mile long road located on the Continental Divide in the Rocky Mountains near Breckenridge, Colorado. The round trip up to the top from Breckenridge is popular with cyclists. The pass was formerly known as Breckenridge Pass in the 1860s when it served as an early route for thousands of prospectors during the Colorado Gold Rush. This is an incredible scenic drive, but it is also super scary. It took us a long time since we had to drive really slowly, but the view was so beautiful that it was worth it. We 
just arrived to Colorado Springs, the final destination of our trip, and definitely the most cosmopolitan place we've been. and good food, it's time to go. But remember that life is full of wonders. Go out, live, and explore. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you on our next video. <laughs>